Clemson loves to bring pressure. These are two defenses that attack and they attack Pickett and take him down. Back at the 15. They wouldn't disclose why he's out, but it looked like he banged up a shoulder in that game against Notre Dame. The ball's deflected and intercepted. Malcolm Green picks it off and brings it back inside the 20 yard line. Lawrence hit as he throws to the corner of the end zone. It's caught by E.J. Williams for a touchdown. Flag up, but an accurate throw nonetheless. Give your guy a chance to go vertical to make the play. Cloud in the sky overhead. Some trickery. The shovel ahead to Rodgers. He broke a couple of tackles. Looks like he was able to shed a face mask as well. He wasn't face masked. Looked like they just got him by the shoulder pad and spun him a bit. Lawrence given a lot of time. Open man! And it is caught! What a courageous catch by E.J. Williams. He had to know he would get belted, and he did. Both of these kickers in this game, Potter and Alex Kessman with Pitt, have very strong legs. Yeah, that's a nine iron for Potter. <laughs> Good from 46 yards. Understand there's more, <laughs> more than one side to every story. Okay. Flea flicker in the double coverage, and Pickett's pass is intercepted by Andrew Booth. Andrew Booth is right here. And watch as he drifts back, his eyes are on the quarterback. This is zone coverage. And so once he sees he has no threat in his deep part of the field, he just reads the quarterback and goes, and he becomes like a free safety and makes the play in the middle of the field. That wasn't necessarily his coverage responsibility. The guy in coverage was Tyler Venables, the freshman safety. But in this case, the corner became the safety and got the interception. By the way, and got an abdominal issue. That's why, you know, if you don't have abs, oh, don't really worry about it. They're going to try their own fleet flicker, and this one's going to work for a touchdown. Lawrence to Cornell Powell. Brandon Hill, watch him come in on the run fade and leave the middle of the field empty. He's coming in. Cornell Powell runs right by him, and that's his coverage responsibility. He's in there. Football team oh, that, that didn't get to play last week and is out to avenge their loss to Notre Dame. Prove what they are, and there's another pick. And that's off the hands of Jared Wayne. You have to put that one on him. Mario Goodrich intercepts. First interception of the year for the junior from Kansas City, Missouri. Goodrich, Lawrence, acrobatic catch. Ball thrown behind Amari Rogers, but he hauled it in at the 18 yard line. A huge season for him. ETN. That stood up inside the 10 and a yard shy of the first down by Eric Halleck. Whatever Billy Lemon says, that's what I go with. ETN, another touchdown. That it lasted a couple what of I days. love is the fact that he came back and, he, and he's playing. I and mean, with all of these guys opting out, he got a second round grade by the NFL Advisory Committee, and, and that wasn't good enough. Amari Rogers trying to run away from Damar Hamlin. He managed to cross Amari the 30. Rogers. Five catches for him in his opening quarter, 53 for the year. Men wide open everywhere. This is Brandon Spector in the Pittsburgh territory at the 42-yard line. That Pitt had this year was against the four best quarterbacks that they faced, and they all had good numbers. And this guy here is the best they've seen yet. Lawrence with single coverage. Fires for Powell, who makes the catch along the sideline. Crowd keeps waiting for the inevitable replay stoppage to call it a touchdown. There is none. And that's... Just the formality. Lynn J. Dixon. Putman, the right guard, get a nice block here. And the right tackle, he's in there at this play, is a back, is a true freshman. Walker Parks, number 64. Like that, Taylor Venables, a true freshman, was a talented high school quarterback, can really run. Obviously, understands the defense, too. Pickett. 
Under duress again and taken down by Tyler Davis. Lawrence under pressure. They brought extra men and got there. Led by Patrick Jones. Coach Whipple that they wanted to play at a very fast tempo. They certainly haven't been able to get that established here today either. Pick it. With surgery on his left ankle. You know, fourth and three, you're down by 31. You're going to kick a field goal? All right. They were here for that loss to Pitt during that national championship season. Lawrence airing it out deep, and Powell has it. And he's tripped up at the five-yard line by A.J. Woods. There's a flag down near where Powell made the catch. And have it first and goal at the Pitt 2, 8-10 to go first half. Lynn J. Dixon. The pile gets pushed. He kept driving. No signal yet of a touchdown. Now there is. Actually, it's Ches Malusi. The third string running back. And gets his first carry of the game. It's a couple of the linemen kind of fold over behind him and start just pushing towards the end zone. Pitt's trying to stand him up. Lined up like they might come after him. Ball's and now the ball's knocked out by Xavier Thomas. And Pittsburgh recovers. Pick it toward the end zone. And is it caught? Yes. Jordan Addison. The touchdown. It looked like Joseph Charleston at the very least might bat it down. But he didn't. I Watch the footwork by Addison. Unbelievable concentration and then keeping the feet in. He only needs one. He has both of them in. He's concentrating on making the catch, but he has the awareness of where his feet are also. I'm, st I'm standing three yards away from him. Charleston got his hand on the ball, so it redirected. He had to get his feet to die and then still get the focus to, to bring the ball in. That, that was an unbelievable catch. Lawrence with ETN, the running back. And he gets dumped by Rashad Weaver, and the ball has come out. And the Panthers have it. There is a flag down. They came in leading the nation, right? 40 sacks coming into the game. Yeah, averaging four and a half per game. Touchdown here if they catch it. Vincent Davis wide open in the flat, and it's a touchdown. And the Panthers trying to scratch back into this one. After falling behind 31 to nothing. So a good design, good play call, and, and we see Pitt now take advantage of the turnover by Clemson. And leading this one 38 to 17. Lynn J. Dixon, nice move. As he went past the line to make, he got a few more to the 30. First down, Clemson. Finding another defensive lineman in the middle. They sell out on the blitz, and ETN has the touchdown. His second rushing touchdown of the game. First play of the fourth quarter, and a big one for Pittsburgh. Third down and two. Five-man rush after Kenny Pickett, and it's intercepted. The fourth for the Clemson defense, and the second for Mario Goodrich today. Oh, and, and play at such a high level. Three straight 100-yard games, 176 today for Powell, and that's a touchdown. Big Cinco to Malusi. He's in coverage. That's his man. But as he tries to go across the formation, watch Powell just kind of get in his way. He gets in his way enough to create separation. Daniel Carter, the ball's out. And it's a scoop and perhaps a chance to score for Kane Patterson. They're trying to run him down, and it is a touchdown, or is it? Officials conferring. I think they're going to mark him down to the one-yard line. He thinks he scored. Jake Venables, who had been the starting middle linebacker, did not play at all today. They got Skowski back. Yeah, he was There's down. He knee down before mm -hmm. he got the ball to the... So Clemson goes to 8-1. They extend their school record 
28 straight home wins. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.